Yes, so I'm the director of uh, Centre Audiovisuel uh, Simon de Voir Center in Paris. It was founded in uh, 1982 by three women that we talked of before, Delphine Seri, Carol Roussopoulos, and Johanna Vider. And now we are working on, a, on all this archive from the 70s, 80s, 90s, and new films uh, around uh, women uh, rights, around women's struggle, around uh, LGBT uh, issues, and uh, around art and women too, because we have made some presentation and some uh, meetings, encounter with the artists, women artists, uh, in, uh, in the last uh, year. And we are also working with young people uh, about the stereotypes, uh, the gender stereotypes in, uh, in schools uh, to uh, make, um, I don't know, a description of uh, how it works in cinema, uh, how women and men are depicted and how heterosexual people, straight people or LGBT people are uh, filmed. And we have also some uh, a mission uh, with um, people in prison. So we go uh, each month in, in a woman jail to make to show films and to make some debates about uh, some strong uh, figure, figures of women in film. In a, I don't know, um, maybe commercial uh, film, not activist film, because our collection is um, made from film from video from the 70s. And we have new film, but all the film have something to do with feminism, but not only with struggles, but maybe also with uh, art, with, uh, I don't know, medicine or philosophy or, so it's really different issues. And, what, and we have also a big mission to uh, preserve, restore, and also to, um, to uh, distribute all these videos. Uh, and especially in museum, it's a good idea because people, as you said, can sh discover, I think that people don't know all these videos from the 70s because there is no uh, public screenings and no TV screenings of this activist video. So they are able to discover the video and to understand what was the feminism and the struggle of women all around the world in the 70s and the 80s. So I think it's the main mission of the center and to restore you are going to see in the exhibition there is some videos that are in a bad state, but we are uh, working with the French National Library to restore this video and to, uh, to make them available for everybody. So we make also subtitles in uh, different uh, languages. I think that today uh, this collection is really important because, for example, some people use uh, excerpts of film for new production. We have uh, many uh, people coming to see uh, the film and to see also uh, the written documentation in the center to have the context of the, uh, you know, the historical context, social, social context of, uh, of the videos. So they are used for new productions. They are used for in university for uh, introduction to the story of cinema and video, feminist uh, cinema and video. And they can also be used in a new, um, your performance, for example. I remember that a woman, a choreographer, use it to uh, study the way of women walking and shouting in demonstration. It was really a special way of uh, thinking of about the women, feminist demonstration, but it was interesting for us because we never thought that it could be interesting to see how women are in the streets, when they take the streets, when they demonstrate. So we have different type of, uh, of you people using all these videos. I think that, uh, I hope that um, uh, seeing this exhibition, they are going to uh, understand a little bit more what was the feminist struggles in the 70s and what was the connection with the actual feminist struggle because many things are um, similar. And uh, for example, I just choose one thing. It's, um, you know, when people um, invent slogans, in the 70s, and now the new slogans, there is a, a, a huge humor, humor, you say? Uh, and I think that there is a connection because if we know that things have changed, there is new, new laws, new rights, but the mentality of people is more difficult to change. So seeing all these images, they can understand that uh, the feminist woman was fighting for different uh, issues and not only just for abortion or just for uh, 
uh, their freedom, but they have connection everywhere in the world, and they are capable to, uh, to learn how to use video to other people in other countries, like uh, Carol did with the Black Panther, with Palestinian people, with women um, from immigration living in, uh, in the suburb of Paris. So I think that it's, it's uh, useful for, uh, for the story of women in general. The video tool it, uh, was changed a lot of the way of filming because there is, when um, this little camera, the porta pack was invented by Sony, I'm sorry, but it's Sony, uh, they saw that it, it will be used by people for filming, uh, you don't know, a family um, um, gathering encounter or, or maybe football um, team or things like that. But in fact, uh, the activists, feminists, but also um, people from the left wing in France, Palestinian or Black Panther, use it and artists at the same time. So this special video camera was used by many different people. They were not school at the time. Nobody knew how to use it and nobody know how to edit things with video. So it, it was a, a, like a freedom for women and for activists because nobody's going to say, oh, you have to do this or you have to do that. No, it's not correct, you have to edit like that. So that they were free to do what they want. And it's, I think when you, when you see the video, it's obvious that there is a total freedom and they don't cut people uh, talking. They, they just leave people thinking and saying what they want to do, what they want to say, what, they, what they're saying. So it, it's really a, re a revolution, but it was not uh, in the mind of Sony Corporation. I think that they didn't saw that it will be like that. And there is two um, like two parallel movement of activists and artists using the same tool, and they just exchange, you know, when they want to edit because it was uh, it was quite um, expensive to have an edit um, editing um, room. So they just uh, it was like you know in. Uh, in factory, people working in the morning, or in the afternoon, or during the night, and they just exchange the tools.